Hi, good day. Today I'll be sharing with you some realistic tips on how to start your business from nothing. I'll be showing you 10 realistic tips, tips that can work for you, tips that I've applied and that have helped me. I must state first that I've had a couple of businesses that I actually did run initially and failed. I had a couple of them. I had a restaurant I was running, it failed. I had a snack shop also that failed and i had a couple of other businesses too that i tried and failed i tried my hands also in some mini exports and imports and they failed and some of the tips some of the ideas that i learned from there are the things that helped me to grow my better businesses that i have today now and today i have three businesses that are running very well and that, that are impressive and i would like to share some of those tips with you obviously you must know that in a short video like this you cannot learn all that you need to learn about starting and enjoying your business but however i'm going to share with you 10 major tips 10 major tips on how to start your business from nothing. Stay right there. Living our best life is achievable and together we can achieve it. I am Ayolua and I teach on business, life, faith and burning topics. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up with that like button, to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell as well as drop a comment. You could also share this video. Thank you. Together we grow. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, I have, ten, I have 10 major tips that I'll be sharing with you on how to run your business successfully, how to start it successfully from absolutely nothing. Now, 10 major tips. I'll be starting with number one. Number one, what do you need to start your business? I must tell you, first of all, that you need to evaluate yourself. You are the first key to your business, to your multinational business, to your multi million dollar business your multi-billion dollar business you are the first key now you have to first of all evaluate yourself and you evaluate yourself in four major categories now why do i need to start this business a lot of people think that the major reason to start business is to make money that is wrong yeah now starting your business is not just about making money it's about solving a problem yes when you solve that problem then money can come in but if you start with your major aim as making money then you're already doomed to fail but if you start with your major aim to solve a problem then you are in for success number two is that you have to make sure that you have the right capital mentality for that business now what do i mean is that are you okay upstairs to run that business are you motivated to start that business are you it's not just about the capital now a lot of people say that they don't have money to start your business this is not about the money before you even get your money you need to have your mental capacity equipped I've had a business, I actually did run a business at a particular time with some investors and I can tell you that we did all the groundwork that could be done, we did our background checks and all, but our minds were not just ready and I can tell you over time, over a period of three years, that business came to crumbles. It was a large sum of money and that business came to crumble. Another thing that you need before you can go into a business, especially when you're evaluating yourself, is that do you have the passion for that business? You see one thing that you can be sure of is that there are going to be a lot of ups and downs and most of the times i will tell you that you're going to have more of downs as a startup you're going to have more of downs than ups but what do you need to stay in the business despite the downs it is your motivation your passion for that business you have to make sure you keep drilling in you keep draining you keep putting in the hours despite the the motivating factors you must make sure that you keep fueling that passion at all times that is very important now number two is that you must find the right business idea i must tell you just like Ole Yakialabi mentioned he said your idea does not count what you think does not count I, I must tell you for a fact what you think about that business does not count it is the market that counts it is your customers that count your idea amounts to nothing i must tell you that it is no, your ideas, your idea, what you think is best for the market, except if you're Steve Jobs, right? Yeah, but whatever you think is right and is necessary for the market, I must tell you that scratch it, scratch it, scratch it. 
go into the market, evaluate, find the right business that you feel your market need, and then you can delve in. Number three is that conduct market research. You have to understand who your competitors are, who are existing businesses that already have that idea that you just want to run. Most ideas are already shark infested, but you have to understand what your competitors are doing. You have to understand what your customers want and your competitors are not offering. You have to understand how best to get your customers, how to steal your customers from other competitors. Now, this is a very, very important thing that you need to do. If you get all of this right, the next thing you need now is feedback. That's after you've done, you've evaluated yourself, after you've found your business idea and you've done your market research, the next thing that you need now is feedback. You need to get feedback from your customers or your potential customers as it were. Ask questions, do surveys, and let your customers, your potential customers, give you back what they need, not what you think they need. Your customer is always right. So you think that what your customers need is tropillos. I'm sorry to disappoint you, what they might need might be ties. Your opinion doesn't count. I must tell you that, and I'll tell you that with a straight face. Your opinion does not count. All right, that was not a straight face, okay. When you get the, your, the feedback from your customers, you need to understand exactly um, how to evaluate their feedbacks, and then you must work um, in line with what they are requesting of you. To work in line with what your customers are requesting of you. The next thing after all this has been done is to create a business plan. A lot of times, most startups, most, most entrepreneurs only create business plans when they're applying for a grant or they're, they're seeking to get a loan or they're seeking to get an investor and um, a venture capitalist and the rest like that. I must tell you that that shouldn't just be so. The moment you have an idea to start a business, the next thing that you should do is to build your business plan. Your business plan helps you to be focused. It helps you to stay focused and it helps you to stay organized. How so? When you're designing your business plan, you have to impute um, your mission statement, your vision statement, your core values. You have to impute your uh, business summary. You have to impute your team, the team that you love to work with you. That's the, you have to design your business organogram. You have to design your financial flow, your cash flow, how you plan to source for funds, how you plan to manage those funds, your um, return, um, your revenue, your return, your aims, your profit, your um, all the rest, your um, cash flow statements and all the rest like that. Now, all of these are detailed in your business plan. And when you have your business plan, your business plan is like a document that guides you. It doesn't have to be just to apply for grants alone. You know? It should be for your own benefit. When you have your business plan, you should know that, okay, if I have a $1,000, how does a $1,000, how does it help my business? What are the things? Okay, maybe your business plan, you designed your business plan with a million dollars. But you can now scale, of course, um, it, you can now scale downward, maybe by 10% or by 1%. You know that, okay, this is what it will take me. This is what I will need for $1,000. So these are the things that I can do with $1,000. Your business plan helps you to stay focused. It helps you to stay organized. The next thing after that is where the problem for most people comes in. After you've gotten your business plan, the next thing you need is to source for funds. Now, there are a lot of ways to source for funds, um, especially for a startup who has nothing and probably no one to help. You see, the general street will tell you bank loans, um, venture capitalists, investors, equity, and the rest like that. But I will tell you that one plan that has really, really, really worked for me is crowdfunding. For you to get $1,000, it means that you need 10 of your friends to give you $100. It is easier to get 10 of your friends to give you $100 than to get one of your friends to give you $1,000. Also, you could reverse the case too. You could have 100 friends giving you $10, and it is easier, obviously, than getting one friend to give you $1,000. It depends on your environment. It could be easier. Now, how do you get 
friends who are ready to invest this much in you go to your contact list on your phone and then as much as possible write every friend who you think can give you any amount a dollar a million a billion it depends on how your contact list is enriched most times most people have this idea that when you want to start your business it is my thing it is my thing it is my thing i must tell you that for a very serious fact that that is a very wrong idea you need the help of outsiders to make your business boom sometimes you need to let go of some equity some part of your business for you to get people to come in to take interest in your idea after all why do i have to give you my money when i could spend my money on myself and enjoy it by myself so for me to give you my money it means that i must or you must be ready to part away with some things i must be ready to get some things in benefit for the money i am releasing so get ready to not expect cash cash gifts from friends you might have to part with some equity or some percentage of your ownership running that you get to understand that it is easier to make money that way than having to source for money from bank loans grants venture capitalists and all the rest like that